every once in a while, I just like to have a sandwich for dinner, don't you? It's so satisfying and cozy and delicious, and paninis are like the best grilled cheese sandwiches ever. And today I'm making sort of an antipasti panini. I mean, it's not even sort of an antipasti panini. It is an antipasti panini. And most of these things you may have in your cabinet, or you could certainly keep on hand in your cabinet, and then you can whip this sandwich out at the drop of a hat, or a spoon, or a knife. I am using a very nice rustic bread. Slice up as many slices as you want to make sandwiches. But I'm just gonna go ahead and make eight slices, because I think I should make four sandwiches, don't you? And then just line up your bread, because you're gonna brush each slice with olive oil. Be as sparing or generous as you like, and you know me, I'm gonna be pretty generous because I like an inordinate amount of fat on my food. <laughs> I should probably stop talking about that. People are gonna start writing in and being like, stop advocating for fat eating. <laughs> hey, I try to keep it semi in control, but it does taste so good. Then turn them over. The other side you're gonna spread with tapenade. Spread about a teaspoon of tapenade onto four of the slices. The tapenade is pretty strong flavored, so don't worry, you're gonna get plenty of olive flavor. You don't like tapenade, you don't like olive flavor, use pesto, equally as delicious. Beware the gaping hole in the rustic bread. Then top with about four slices of provolone cheese. Classic sandwich layering technique. I mean, I'm no sandwich expert, but I do know sandwich fillings get layered. I'm gonna put cheese on this side, then layer everything in between, and then put another layer of cheese, and then when it melts together, the cheese will hold the whole sandwich together. That's what I like. Layer some artichoke hearts on. These artichoke hearts are a little bit thick, so I'm gonna cut them in half lengthwise just so that they don't bulk everything up too much. I want it sort of everything to lay flat, and then divide them between the pieces of bread. Bottled artichoke heart is, an, is a very handy dandy thing to keep in your pantry. Fancify up any salad or sandwich or Make a little relish tray. Six ounces of roasted red peppers. These you can keep in your pantry as well. Or you can make your own. Very easy to make your own. Salami, one of my personal favorite pork products. I think I need to slice this in half. Oh my God, this sandwich just keeps getting better and better. And then just to add a little bit of freshness because you know I always like to add freshness and one of my favorite ways to do that, parsley. Italian, because this is an Italian sandwich. I know, it's like I'm a parsley addict or something. Better parsley than other things. <laughs> this is the salad portion of your sandwich. We're not making a salad today, so don't forget to put the parsley on your sandwich. And then, to hold everything together, the remaining cheese. It's like a slice or two per sandwich. Cover them up and they're ready to go. If you have a panini press, you can use that. I'm gonna use two cast iron skillets on the stove. This pan has been preheating on a medium heat. You don't want it too high or the bread will burn and the, the cheese won't melt through. So just place them in the preheated pan and the oil on the bread is gonna help them get nice and golden brown and crispy. I think I can fit all of them in. And then what you wanna do is weigh them down. You don't cover it with anything, you just weigh them down with another skillet and cover it up with a piece of foil. This is just to keep them clean and then place another heavy skillet on top and the second heavy skillet will weigh down the sandwiches. So if you don't have two cast iron skillets, you can use a lighter skillet and put some cans in there. If you have a panini press, please feel free to use that. That's what they're made for. I'm just doing it the old fashioned way about three or four minutes per side. So let's just leave this alone for three minutes and then we'll come back. All right, let's check. I'm afraid they may be a little too dark. Carefully flip them. You can use tongs or whatever appeals. To oh, yeah, they're fine. I'm worried for nothing. <laughs> Some would beg to differ. Be careful though, because it's not completely held together yet, so you're gonna wanna hold them together while you're flipping them. Coming out nice. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that one's a little dark. Okay, weigh it down again. Let's check back in two minutes. I'll eat the butt one, I promise. These look good. The cheese is melted. They're mushed down. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited. Maybe I'm inordinately excited about a sandwich. I don't care. I like a delicious sandwich for dinner. And this one just has it all going on. It has vegetables, it has cheese, it has pork products. 
It has parsley. <laughs> Ow. I just burned myself. See what I do for you? I do this because I love sharing my favorite recipes with you. And this has got to be top on my list of sandwich recipes this year. I know it's only February, but it'll be hard to beat. I want to take a bite. Oh, but it's going to mess up my lipstick. No, I am going to do it. Mmm. <laughs> so good. This tops the list of favorite sandwiches this year. You guys are really going to like this one. I promise.